Your chance of having a fire in your home during your lifetime is one in four. Those are not good odds, but a residential fire sprinkler system can significantly reduce the chance of property loss and loss of life should a fire occur. Today, the Greenville City Fire Department has set up a demonstration, one room equipped with a sprinkler system and one without. They're going to set a small fire and see what happens. They do have a suppression crew and backup crew ready to go. A small trash can has been ignited in each room. The trash cans are filled with ordinary combustibles. The fires have started and you can see smoke coming out of the waste baskets. At 22 seconds, the smoke alarms have sounded. It's now critical that you exit your home and go to your meeting place. Keep in mind that properly placed, functioning smoke alarms increase your chances of surviving by 50%. The temperature in those rooms is now about 300 degrees. As you can see, the smoke is getting thick. You're now calling 911 from your meeting place to say, I've got a fire in my home. And the sprinkler system operates in the room on the left at the 50 second mark. Over on the right hand side, the fire has gone up the drapes and has spread a little bit to the chair and the couch. Keep in mind that it's going to take the dispatcher about a minute to gather your information, turn it over to an outbound dispatcher, and then notify the fire department. Under the best of circumstances, your fire department will not know about your fire until you're at least about two minutes in. As you can see from the speed of the fire, you would have little chance of putting the fire out yourself. You need to get out of the house and call 911. Over on the left-hand side, in our sprinkler-equipped room, the firefighters are using a water can extinguisher to take care of what little fire is left. But the residential fire sprinkler system put the fire out in just a matter of seconds. Over on the right-hand side, the protective plexiglass on the front of the room is beginning to melt as the fire gets hotter. It's about two minutes and 40 seconds in. The fire department has now been notified and they are just now getting out to their truck to put on their gear. At this point, the room is totally untenable. It's 1100 degrees in that room right now and at three minutes, we have flashover. The entire room is burning. We will now ask our Greenville City Fire Department to go ahead and suppress the fire. They are going to make sure that the molten plexiglass is down before they go in. And now our firefighters can finish knocking the fire down. If all goes well, fire engines usually would not even leave the station until the fire has been burning for about four minutes. Our firefighters were present in this scenario. In an actual home fire, it would have taken several more minutes for trucks to arrive. Once the smoke is cleared, you can observe the difference between a non-sprinkler room and a sprinkler protected room. Having a residential fire sprinkler system is like having a firefighter living in your home with all of his gear on, ready to go 24 seven. At the end of the day, our desire is to help keep you and your family safe. Protect your family by installing a residential fire sprinkler system. For more information, contact NFPA, the National Fire Protection Association, or the South Carolina Fire Sprinkler Coalition. Remember, fire is everyone's fight.